Hi, in this video I'll be replacing these unsupported linear rails with a new set of supported linear rails. I'll also have to change all the mountings for the stepper motors. These are the new supported linear rails and bearings and two conversion brackets made from T-section aluminium. I have to start stripping down the whole machine as it is receiving a makeover with new motor mounts and location for the Arduino and CNC shield. First, removing the completed Y and Z axis assembly and removing the old unsupported linear rails. The stepper motors and their lead screws are next to come off. followed by all the electronics. The rebuild starts by fitting the T-section brackets to the new bearings. First lead screw nut. and the same for the other side. Now to reassemble with the Y axis. The holes on the second side did not align properly, so I had to have a little bit of encouragement with the aid of a drill and a file. Starting to tighten everything up, checking the vertical alignment for the z-axis. Adding four wooden blocks to stop the whole assembly sliding off. Fixing the first rail to the 18mm plywood using wood screws. And then the second rail moving backwards and forwards to check for alignment. Securing the cable drag chain and testing its movement. All of the parts for the first NEMA 17 X-axis stepper motor mount and assembly. The new electronics location. Spindle motor relay. Bridge rectifier for the drill battery power supply and emergency stop button. Adding the new parts to the baseboard using wood screws.
feeding through the wires from the drag chain. Building the second x-axis stepper motor mount with 6mm to 5mm coupling. Attaching the second motor to the baseboard and an extra supporting metal plate. Feeding through the M6 lead screw and connecting to the coupling. Doing the same on the other side. Making the bearing block for the other end of the lead screw. And attaching. Repeating for the other side. Time for a trial run of the new rails and bearings. Works just fine with a total of 500mm travel. Speed it up, look at the clock. In my next video I should be playing with a vinyl cutter. If you made it this far, well done. Please like and subscribe and have a look at my website for more information.